are a lot of places in the world that defy our expectations in one form or another. One of those places is absolutely the Mariana Trench. This is the deepest part of the ocean, and it's a place where all sorts of things happen without the people on the surface even being aware of it. I'm from the surface. No one's going to take me seriously. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. It's a true bastion of wonder, mystery, and whether you see it or not, life. But with it being so deep in the ocean, you might not fully understand the gravity of what is there. Allow us to show you seven things you didn't know about the Mariana Trench. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number seven, the trench's location and depth. The Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean about 124 miles outside the Mariana Islands. So thus, you can't just fly to the Mariana Trench. You'll have to go and get a boat to take you there, and you'll likely have a nice view of various islands and oceans to see, as you get ever closer to the spot where you dive. And once you make the dive, you are going to be down for quite a while. The maximum known depth of the trench is 10,984 meters, or 36,037 feet, which is 6.825 miles at the southern end of a small slot-shaped valley in its floor, known as the Challenger Deep. However, some unrepeated measurements place the deepest portion at 11,034 meters, or 36,201 feet. If Mount Everest were placed into the trench at this point, its peak would still be underwater by more than 2 kilometers, or 1.2 miles. Think about that for a second. That amount of depth is not something you can just think about. You need that Mount Everest reference to truly grasp it. And even then, that's not the bottom. It may have been found in 1875, but to actually get to the trench and explore it by any means would take a lot, lot longer. Number six, only four have made it to the trench. Only four humans in history have ever been able to go to the Mariana Trench. The first two were in 1960. Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard and USN Lieutenant Don Walsh went down in a special submarine and are in fact the two humans to go the deepest into the ocean. However, they only lasted about 20 minutes before their submarine had to be surfaced because of the pressure of the ocean. The others came 52 years later in the form of the one and only James Cameron, who went down in a single man pod and stayed there for quite some time before surfacing back up. Then in 2019, American Victor Vescovos took a sub and actually hit the very bottom of the trench and stayed there for four hours. While their accomplishments are noteworthy in every way, it goes to show that while they've been to the bottom of the trench or close to it, they don't really know everything that's down there. Until we get a craft down there that can be there for extended periods, there's no way of knowing all that resides within the Mariana Trench. Although we do know some of the creatures that are down there. Number five. Creatures of the Deep One would think that the Mariana Trench is so deep that it couldn't possibly have life within it. At the bottom of the trench, the water column above exerts a pressure of 1,086 bars, or 15,750 psi, more than 1,071 times the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level. Humans would be crushed so completely if they went down there unprotected that they wouldn't even be seen due to the crushing pressure. However, despite the enormous odds, life does live down there. And in fact, it thrives for reasons very much known to science. We could make a whole list of things that live down there, but we'll highlight just a few for you. The benthocodon actually likes it at the bottom of the ocean floor, which makes the Mariana Trench perfect for its habitat. Though it's not technically the bottom of the ocean, it's close though. In terms of size and shape, it's a more compact creature, one with a bell-shaped top. But what about its tentacles? Well, it actually has thousands of tentacles wrapped around its body, making it easy to catch prey regardless of the direction it's in. In 2014, a new type of snailfish was found in the Mariana Trench, and it was dubbed the ghost fish. What's more, this special fish wasn't like most snailfish, as this one was found over seven miles below sea level, where no fish like it had ever been found before. Snailfish are special organisms that are used to surviving in the deep waters of the world, but the ghost fish seems even more suited, which is why many are so fascinated by it. And compared to other snailfish, its body seems much different, which might be an evolution caused by living in the trench. When it comes to the Mariana Trench, despite its mystery and wonder, there are a few famous faces, and among them is the anglerfish. Anyone who has seen Finding Nemo knows exactly what this fish is, as well as the meaning of the phrase, happy feeling gone. This devil of a fish is a hunter and killer like few others, and it tricks its opponents to come to it. Trust us when we say that these are just a few of the creatures that live down in the Mariana Trench, which says a lot about the area as a whole. Number four, geology. 
So you now know about the creatures more or less that live in the trench, but what do you know about the actual substances that make up the trench? The Mariana Trench is part of the Izubonin Mariana subduction system that forms the boundary between two tectonic plates. In this system, the western edge of one plate, the Pacific Plate, is subducted, i.e. thrust, beneath the smaller Mariana Plate that lies to the west. Crustal material at the western edge of the Pacific Plate is some of the oldest oceanic crust on Earth, up to 170 million years old, and is therefore cooler and denser. Hence its great height difference relative to the higher writing and younger Mariana Plate. The deepest area at the plate boundary is the Mariana Trench proper. The movement of the Pacific and Mariana plates is also indirectly responsible for the formulation of the Mariana Islands. These volcanic islands are caused by flux melting of the upper mantle due to the release of water that is trapped in minerals of the subducted portion of the Pacific plate. Number 3. Pollution Pollution is something you'd think wouldn't be possible because of the depth of the Mariana Trench, right? Well, in 2016, a research expedition looked at the chemical makeup of crustacean scavengers collected from the range of 7,841 to 10,250 meters within the trench. Within these organisms, the researchers found extremely elevated concentrations of PCBs, a chemical toxin banned for its environmental harm in the 1970s, concentrated at all depths within the sediment of the trench. Further research has found that amphipods also ingest microplastics with 10% of amphipods having at least one piece of synthetic material in their stomachs. In 2019, Victor Vescova reported finding a plastic bag and candy wrappers at the bottom of the trench. That year, Scientific American also reported that carbon-14 from nuclear bomb testing has been found in the bodies of aquatic animals found in the trench. So yeah, even the deepest depths of the ocean are not immune to the dangers of human pollution, which is honestly really sad when you think about it. Number two, the darkness. There's another element to the Mariana Trench that needs to be said because it drastically affects the conditions there, as well as those creatures that live within it. You see, if you were to go into the oceans, you would have light to help guide you around via the sun beaming down upon it. However, the deeper you go, the less the light illuminates the area, until eventually you reach the midnight zone, where the light of the sun no longer touches. The Mariana Trench is well below that midnight zone, so everything that lives down there is untouched by the sun. That also makes the water extremely cold. And yet, not only do creatures live down there as we've shown you, but they adapt to the lack of light. Some creatures have bioluminescence so that they literally glow in the dark. Others, like the barrel eye fish, have special eyes that can capture their own light and allow them to see. So even in the darkness and cold, life finds a way. Number one, the Meg. Okay, this one is more speculation than anything else, but it's kind of funny, so we're talking about it. The Megalodon was a massive shark that lived in prehistoric times. It died out due to various reasons and hasn't been seen since. However, there are many out there who believe that a Megalodon might still be alive within the Mariana Trench. How and why aren't known or explained, but the belief continues. In fact, this feeling was further bolstered in some ways by the movie The Meg that showed not one, but two Megalodons living within the Mariana Trench. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Mariana Trench and how there is much more down there than people expect there to be? Were you shocked by some of the facts that were revealed here in this video? What about the creatures that live within the trench? Do you think that one day we'll be able to go down there more regularly? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.